They were totally persuaded. They literally died for their faith. They didn't change their mind. And they told me, go ahead and pray me. I still believe God. I say, I pray you, God. Now that's the person who has faith. Who's willing to lay their life down. Because I can believe God to the end. I can believe God for everything to the end. And I'll leave you all with this. There's a right way of praying. And there's a wrong way of praying. There's a right way of praying. There's a wrong way of praying. The disciple of Jesus came to Jesus and said, teach us, teach us how to pray like John taught his disciples. So prayer must be what? Taught. Prayer must be taught from a what? Biblical point of view. That means scriptures. Not no head knowledge. It's scriptures. So it teaches how to pray. That means they instruct us how to pray. Instruct me how to pray. So I can pray and get result. So I can pray and get result. Because if I'm not getting result, that means something, and, and I'm standing, there's something wrong with me. It's not God. I'm not doing it right. Not doing it right. You see what I'm saying? When you follow the instruction, you get result. Amen? When you follow the instruction, you get result. You ever try to put up, you, ever, you know, many years ago, I, I, I bought a, 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 a thong bag and, I'm, and and it comes with a structure. I mean, it comes with, oh my, my God, maybe like a 200 pieces. I said, Jesus, all these, all these pieces, why do you just think that's big and old? All these pieces that comes with, all these pieces. And they got numbers, and they got letters, A, B, C, 1. I see now. I see now. Then it comes with a book. And if I don't read the book, then I'm going to put it together. It's the same way. If you don't read the word of God, you don't know how to pray effectively. Because your prayer must be consist with his promise. Write this down. With his promise, number one. With his what? Principle, number two. And with the prophecy, number three. So your prayer must be in agreement with promise, principle, and prophecy. And the only way, the only way to know that you're in agreement with it is to know what the word of God says about the promises, to know what the word of God says about his principle, which means that I, in his word, and know what the word of God says about the prophecy. So our prayer must be consistent with those three, those three master keys. Three master keys. So when I open up the Bible, I look for promises. Then I look for principle. Then I look for prophecy. So when I come before God, I come before God with what he says. What he promised me. With the, not, with the understanding of knowing that God, when he promised, when he promised, he's able to fulfill every one of those promises as long as I hold fast to what he said. Amen. See, it's a condition. I have to hold fast to what he said. Huh? I have to hold fast. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. So I can cast away my confidence. Eh? I can cast away my confidence. I get no result. Huh? Amen? Or I can become a double-minded man. Like James said. As a wave of the sea. Doing full and true. Full and true. Amen? Backwards and forward. 